Oh, there. On signal. Oh, on signal. Oh. No, 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 no. No, we're not taking that. Not taking that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, how was the first five minutes? Not good. I, am. I forgot to indicate and I forgot to check my mirrors. Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amin and today I'm doing another driving lesson with Erin. And today we're going to continue with independent driving, but in bite-sized pieces with the sat nav included. Um, now last lesson Erin, what went on in our last lesson? Our last lesson? The bus situation. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So for mirrors, we have our little sticker at the front that you're going to remember to. Yeah. Any turning, it's mirrors signal maneuver. Yeah. Okay. So with the sat nav, what we're going to do is I'm going to start off the sat nav from here. I want you to follow the sat nav, and then about five minutes in, I'm going to get you to park up, and then we're going to review the five minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll go again another five to ten, and then review that. There are, there is a mix of roads in this, so that see, you can see how you get on, okay? okay? If at any point you're driving, even during that five minutes, and you have a question, ask away. So don't feel like you've got to drive in silence and have no feedback, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, um, anything you want to add to that? No. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna... There we go. Okay. So how far is our next turn? Down the road. Yeah. How far is it though? Does the sat nav say how far? 5 mi 70 yards. <laughs> yeah, we just use that top bar. Forget everything okay. else. Yeah, just ignore yeah. the rest. Just look at that top bar and then look at the diagram. Okay? okay. All right, guys, we're going to get started. So if you enjoy watching these videos, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below as we love reading through your comments. Do you ever read the comments on the videos? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're not giving you her socials. <laughs> not happening. <laughs> the amount of comments I get. I stop requesting my TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Erin, when you're ready, we're going to start. You happy with your seat and everything, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, so whenever you're ready, we're going to start five minutes now. Any questions you have, ask away, but you're following instructions on the sat map. And it's all about driving safely. And left, then at the end of the road, turn left. Oh, we're going left here. Mm. Yeah, if it's less than a hundred yards, it's, it's very close. Mm. Usually the first road. So remember your sequence. Turn okay? left, then turn right. After 80 yards, turn right. Turn right. Missing something. What? Mirror? Oh. And signal. Oh, and signal. Oh, it didn't even go on. The rest was nice, definitely needed to check mirrors and signal, okay? At the end of the road, turn right, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Turn 
left. Okay, how was the first five minutes? Not good. Okay, <laughs> what was not good about it? I forgot to indicate and I forgot to check my mirrors. On then, one junction? Yeah. Okay, what about the others? And then the first one was okay and then that one you had to take the steering wheel. <laughs> okay, so let's not just look at all the bad parts, let's look at the good parts as well. So you forgot to check mirrors and signal on one, but on all yeah. the others you did check yeah. your mirrors and signal. So well done for that. Thank okay. You. Um, you dealt with that learner car there very nicely. You were being quite patient. You, turned, you had a nice turn on, you were waiting for the silver car, but then you realized the silver car driver was waiting for you. Yeah. And then you went forward. Yeah. Now, initially going into that space next to the silver car, did you think there was enough space for you? Yeah. Yeah? Good. You're going into that, you've got a nice position. Yeah. But then why did I have to take control? Because I was too close to the left. You were getting too close to the left. Now, initially, you know, when you're going through that space, you had a nice space. Yeah. But as you were getting closer to the silver car, because you're noticing him, you're like, oh, let me move away from him. But then we've also got to remember, you've got the curb on this side. Yeah. Um, Reference-wise, when you're driving through that, just make sure you observe that car next to you. If anything, check on this side to see how much space you've got before moving over. But don't just dive in. Mm -hmm. Or even slow down some more. Use first gear. Take it even slower. Because the space was there. It, just, it was narrow, but it was there. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I think there was one more part. No, that's it. All good. Yeah. yeah. So well done for the mirrors and signal on the ones you did do. Just one you forgot. Definitely stay on your sequence. And uh, take narrow gaps a little bit slower. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's continue with it. of the road, turn left. Was that road big enough for you? No, that was good that you took charge there. She was positioning too close to you. You, you kind of needed turn to stop left. that. Okay? Yeah. No, I'm happy with the way you dealt with that, okay? Nobody's to your right, we can go. But there is people to my right. Oh, I can go now. Yeah. But what about when we first got? 
got there. Yeah, I could have just kept going. Okay. Better be safe than sorry. But you can't be too safe either. Yeah. At the end of the road, turn left, then turn right. So when the sat nav says at the end of the road, turn left and then turn right, what does that mean? It means at the end of the road, turn left and then after that, turn right. It means the second turn is quite close. Yeah. So that's something for you to remember. Turn left, then turn right. So don't wait for the instruction the second time. Stop over and discuss that. If you can park on the left here after this car. Turn left. Good. That's it, really nicely done there. That's pretty good. Your, your, your parking was actually really nice. As you get here, you keep moving away. So your car feels like it's going that way slightly by the end. Uh, no? Yeah. Okay, what happened on the entrance here? I nearly crashed into the car. You wouldn't have crashed, you, you were just a bit too close, right? Yeah. Okay, how much space do we like to leave with parked cars? A metre. A metre. Okay, um, why did we end up getting too close? What actually happened? I don't know. Well, you were trying to make sure you didn't cut the corner, cut the right? Corner, yeah. Okay, yeah. you did the turn very nicely. Now, the parked car wasn't right on the end of the road, but it was quite close. Mm -hmm. So once you'd made the turn, you from now should be focusing on, okay, well, let me clear this car. Yeah. Because it felt like you were trying to get into the middle, but you weren't thinking about that left side. Yeah. All of the approach to that turn, perfect, can't complain. It's just the clearance once you run it. Yeah. Even just before this, that left turn we did, the turn itself was very nice. But as soon as we turned in, there was a blue car on the left, which felt like you were too close to it. As in, closer than we needed to be. Yeah. So clearances, again, you've got to make sure you're not positioning yourself in the middle of the road. Yeah. Because that kind of usually has, has been the, the issue, really. So the roundabout, what happened on it? I took too long to go. Yeah, so we, we had a bit yeah. of hesitation. There was cars coming from every angle, and I was like, when is it my turn? True, but think about it. How does the traffic flow on the roundabout? If there's nothing from your right. Yeah, there. so it flows clockwise, right? Yeah. So we just got to make sure this side is clear yeah. and the person in front of you isn't coming round. Yeah. You ready to go again? Mm -hmm. Do you get the whole clearance thing? Yeah. You know what to do for next time? Yeah. How much space are we going to leave? A meter. A meter, nice safety bubble around the vehicle. All right, whenever you're ready. I'm going to put the AC on because it's getting a bit hot again. and then turning left again to continue following the sat nav. So now parked car is your main attention right here. Good. If you forget to check your mirrors on your test like like twice then it matter. The thing is, with mirrors, as long as you're regularly checking, you're fine. What if you like turn right and don't check your right now? If you forget to check on that one occasion, but nobody's there, you're going to get a minor fault. Okay. But if you forget to check, but there was a motorbike overtaking you or about to overtake you at the exact After same time, yards, and that's major. Turn left, yeah. Yeah. Think about your clearance, Erin. Park left. up on the left-hand side here for me. Just signal to park up, please and keep the car straight, looking at the vehicle in front. All right, secure the car for a second. I wanna just talk about that white car behind us. What happened leading up to it? We were kind of talking, weren't we? Yeah, I didn't see that there was a white car behind us. Uh, you mean parked? 
Where? No, no, you see the car behind us uh, now? Oh, yeah. You see the parked car? Yeah. Leading up to it, because we were talking, I think. Yeah. You weren't aware of your clearance? Yeah. We were too close to it. Yeah. Were you looking at the car that was coming towards you? Yeah. Yeah. So what's happening there, by the sound of it, is a bit of tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. Because you're focusing on the car coming towards you, you're kind of staying closer to the left. So if you look at this road, cars are mainly driving in the centre, aren't they? Yeah. And when do they move out of the centre path? When there's another car. When there's another car. But they don't move immediately, do they? No. They only move over when there's space. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to just repeat this block yeah. of turns because we had a few clearance along here before we continue with the sat-nav. So I'm just going to pause that for now. So we're not following the sat-nav for now just because I've turned it off. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm still telling you where to go for this next bit now. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Do you get what the plan of action is now? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So if you ask a question on the drive, but I know it's going to be quite a lengthy answer, what I might do is I'll say I'll get back to that. Just so that you don't lose focus on what's right in front of you. Okay, <laughs> so let's begin. Okay, we're going to repeat the two junctions where you had your clearance spots, yeah? Yeah. So turn left from here. So this blue car is what you got a bit too close to earlier. Yeah. So straight away we're going for the centre. Very nice. And then turn right. Stay in the middle, don't move your position to the right, don't move your position to the right. You've got to stay centre first. Good, make the turn. Now focus on the car on the left. Better? Yeah. Okay, so where's your focus right now? On where we're going. Forget where we're going, on the parked car. Yes? So what are you thinking about that parked car? Go into the middle, we're not going near it. No. Okay. So if you see someone coming through the middle of the road towards you, don't try and move straight away. Hold your position. Think about what it is you want to do. Good. And also, sequence, even though we're not turning, just check. Now we're going to turn right from here, okay? away considering the fact that we are turning we've got a bit of preparation we need to do 
Yeah. I'm not boring you. No. <laughs> I tried to hold my own in my door. <laughs> so do you want to do the roundabout independently? Yeah. Yeah? Good. When should I move over to that? When, as soon as you can. Start telling them you want to move over first so you have a better chance of moving. Match their speed After by the way, no one's going to let you in if you're slow. Right on the roundabout and take the let third exit, A312. Uh. Oh, it's Lombardi. Move over at this point. Okay. Move over by one. And just, if he's trying to get over around you, just let him. But just adjust your speed, drop it down. Go right on the roundabout and Do take the third exit. Do you want to move in after this guy? Just wait there. Oh. Just kind of angle yourself. If you can't go in fully, it doesn't matter. Get the steering turned, Aaron. Just pause for a second. Turn the wheel fully. There you go. Now check. He's going to give way. Yeah? yeah. All right. Let's do the roundabout. We'll talk about that later. You okay? Yeah. Okay. this turn just ignore the sat nav okay no 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 we're not taking that we're not taking that yet. you keep the wheel straight when you enter okay yeah no. yeah good now count with me this is one and that's two now check the left mirror at this point Outwards. Go on, get, take that position. Outwards. Take the exit. And switch your signal. Then sharp left. Now ignore the sat nav, okay? Sharp left. Ignore it completely. We're not turning. Stay in your lane. That's it. Now check the right mirror. Switch to right signal. And we're going to go into the car box uh, where the Starbucks is, okay? We're leaving just like what we do there we go okay um so that last little 10 minutes yeah mirror checks are you happy with them yeah yeah really nice clearance how was it okay. did we have any trouble with no. clearance definitely not so those two factors that we were trying to work on i'd say pretty successful mm -hmm. so i think it's a matter of you now going okay i know that this is something that i need to work on that yeah. i need to monitor that and use mirrors so i think that's definitely improved a lot more then we got to the bigger roads. A bit more challenging, wasn't it? Yeah. Now we have done those um, roundabouts and all of these roads before, but it has been a while since we've been back here. Yeah. You know, with that lane change on that roundabout, like well, when I said, oh, I suggest you move over. Yeah. Um, yeah. We didn't. We didn't have time to move over, did we? Yeah, no. Even though we had 400 yards. Yeah. We're signalling. We're trying to move over. Just it was just difficult. Yeah. So next time, I would move over at 700. Mm -hmm. Because you're 
you've got some distance to travel, but everyone's kind of just buzzing around us and yeah. then the traffic built up and it was difficult, right? Yeah. Um, another thing I want to talk about, this is again something we did when we did the motorway lesson. Do you remember? Where we talked about matching the speed. Yeah. No, you know that slip road you did, the 50 one? Yeah. Where there was a van approaching and you moved in. You did that slip road really nicely. Mm. Even though it was a 50 slip road, the traffic wasn't quite 50. We were about 40 by the end. Yeah. You simply forgot to signal, but it's a good idea you signal, just really inform them. But we were matching that speed and it was quite easy. But when you were trying to change lanes, sorry, Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Mm -hmm. You know when we were trying to change lanes on the, the 40 bit leading up to the roundabout? Yeah. We all started off at zero. Yeah. You're trying to move off and you're trying to move lanes. Whereas everyone else is trying to speed up. Yeah. Now, because you're not at the same speed as them, nobody gave you away. Yeah. So what should we do there? Speed up. Yeah. Match the speed of the road. Yeah. So instead of going, oh, I need to move over, I need to move over, just kind of go, let me drive yeah. and then try and move over. And if the first one doesn't let you in, the second one will. But if they don't let you in, the third one will. And if yeah. they don't let you in, the next one will. But if you're slow, do they want to slow down to let you in? People are mean, but you know, they don't want to have to slow down. Yeah. They want to make progress, okay? Yeah. Um, the roundabout itself was really good. Just. Um, needed to anticipate the traffic in front you know when we we stopped at a bit of an angle yeah i think it's you were you were kind of checking the left mirror expecting to see a car there <laughs> nobody's going to be there because the lane that's next to you where does that go out out, the out on the second yeah it leaves yeah so nobody's going to be there okay um and then we had the last roundabout where i had to tell you to stop yeah that was a bit of a silly gap did you notice that black mercedes I thought they were further away. Yeah. Now, the speed at which they're approaching seemed like sort of 10, 15. But remember, as they're entering, because they literally just started off at zero at that point. As they enter, they're only going to come even faster, aren't they? Yeah. And plus, because they're already on the roundabout, we should generally be giving priority anyways. So I know you thought you could have made it, but it, he would have been even faster by the time we entered. He or she, I just assumed this guy. <laughs> But yeah, we definitely don't want to take any risky gaps. Yeah. But we will be reviewing these roundabouts a bit more in the next lesson. Yeah? Yeah. But I'm really happy with the two things that we wanted to work on and how they've gone. Is there any concerns you have from today's lesson? The roundabouts. <laughs> but let's put the roundabouts aside because we haven't done these ones for a little while. Yeah. Are you yeah, happy with what yeah. we set out to do? Yeah. Okay. Do you get the whole matching their speed yeah. thing? Yeah. All right, guys, that is the end of another driving lesson. Hopefully you have found that video to be useful. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new. That is up. That is it from us today. And we're going to go get a nice cold drink to finish off this lesson. Bye.